Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about analytics and what does it take to become a great content creator in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, but you can apply this to other things, maybe Fortnite, other games like Apex, maybe even things like Valorant. But for the most part, I'm gonna be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh content creators. A lot of people do like to use metrics and I will kind of use them. However, we're gonna be mainly focusing on what things that different content creators bring to the plate that are a little bit different. Um, I've had one of the best last two months in uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! history for the most part. I mean, we hit insane numbers, so big shout outs to all you guys that watch the channel over here. I mean, like I said, we've hit insane numbers last two months. And for me personally, and I think that one thing that uh, is a little bit different that I've been really focusing in on is content creation on other platforms to funnel into YouTube. Uh, I've been heavily focusing in on TikTok. Some of you guys maybe even followed me specifically specifically from TikTok. Big shout out to you guys over there, but I'm getting insane numbers over on TikTok because I really like the short form uh, content and it allows me to kind of create very quick skits, which I really do like and a lot of you guys like to uh, watch as well. But that's one thing that I've been focusing in on, but I've been also trying to obviously step up my YouTube game. And uh, like I said, thank you so much to all you guys who have been watching my channel in the past two months. It's really been insane. Uh, but I wanna also highlight some other content creators and kind of show off what they, again, bring to the table. So uh, one thing I wanna go ahead and go over, and I wanna start off with Team Sam, cause he's he's another homie and uh, we've done a video with him before. And he definitely has, I would say, one of the more successful Yu-Gi-Oh! channels that has kind of more popped up uh, more recently. Like, I follow a lot of the OG OG, like if you guys follow Cesar Gonzalez, M. Cole 40, Cyber Knight, um, we also have Simply Lucky. There's a lot of old school content creators, but this guy, when he came up into the game, man, he absolutely popped off and he's still doing really, really well as well. But one thing that I think that he does very well is, um, looking at a bunch of the videos in terms of the thumbnails i really want to say he has some of the most insane thumbnails where you're able to see very high numbers that's a thing with a lot of uh content creation right where you see some of these videos and you see instantly like five hundred dollars three thousand dollars that makes you want to click on it because it's something that i think a lot of people cannot replicate if that makes any sense like it's not very common for a content creator to spend thousands of dollars on every single video some content content creators are able to do that and they basically use the money that they generate from other things and they funnel into their channel and I think that that is something that definitely separates him uh, from other content creators like anything with a mystery box I think that that is very uh, something very in enticive to click on like you want to see well what's in the mystery and that's a very common thing with a lot of like uh things like for example i don't know if any of you guys know what a kinder uh surprise is like the kinder eggs that's very very popular especially for like the younger audiences and there's nothing wrong with having a younger audience this is another thing that i wanted to go ahead and mention you always have different demographics you go at the end of the day it was meant to be a children's card game and so I feel like a lot of kids really like mystery and this definitely shows with all of these like what is what are in these things right and there's always that big surprise face I think that that is a very successful thing and you'll see that among a lot of other content creators as well. Um, but one thing that I thought was very interesting that Team Samurai did uh, was for example there's this new secret shiny box and he recently did a uh, opening of it. and. I thought that this was really interesting. The amount of time it takes for him to actually open up the box is almost four minutes. For me as a content creator, I always like, if I'm doing an unboxing, I wanna get right into it. But he keeps people entertained by showing off like the different things uh, around the box. And some people really like to see the artwork. That's something I wouldn't even think about. I just wanna be like, okay, cool, cool, looks cool artwork. And I wanna hop right into the opening. But if you are a content creator that can keep your uh, viewer entertained, I mean, I would have finished this vid a lot faster. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know that YouTube definitely promotes things that uh, either get likes on the video. And he also incentivizes that by saying we're doing a giveaway. So if you want to like uh, comment, those other things all help out in the algorithm. So by the way, if you're watching this video, drop a like on it. But um, these all help out as a content creator if you guys like the videos and all of those things. And he's showing off the, the different things. And again, I would not have thought about doing that. I would have just, again, immediately opened up the box. So that's one thing that I think he does very well. But we can talk about uh, one person for basically, you know, 10, 15 minutes. But I want to go and show off lots of different content creators and 
I'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out if you guys don't know about them. Uh, the next content creator that I want to take a look at is Simo. He's also uh, one, but I would say almost like a newer content creator. Like he's been here for a while, but I would say he's more popped off more recently. And one series that I do really like with Simo is the, uh, the progression series where he like goes over certain sets. You see cards maybe that you would maybe overlook, and then they play with them. And I think that that's a really cool way to see alternative formats and different ways to play the game and kind of see it like the evolution of how powerful certain things have actually gone. That's one series that I think that he does very well. And there's also like sealed stuff. There's different uh, ways to create content other than just like, here's the new cards, which I really like covering the new cards. But I think having a successful series, like uh, for example, on my channel, I used to do low rated duelists all the time. Now I've been you know, making lots of TikTok content, which is basically like Yu-Gi-Oh! Vines. That's how I felt like I popped off really hard back in the day, was making those Yu-Gi-Oh! Vines. But those kinds of things are very, very good. You can see like all of these are doing very, very well. I mean, we're talking over 100K. I mean, it's not that easy to get like millions of views on a Yu-Gi-Oh! content creation channel. I mean, I would say Team Samurai, probably one of the more consistent ones to hit like over a million a month. Um, but like I've had an insane month. That's cause like the TikTok short form content because you get all of the watch time that significantly boosts you up in the algorithm as well. But um, doing those kinds of things where you're able to stick out from the other content creators. Cause I don't know if anyone else is doing like a progression series. There may be some other uh, content creators. And by the way, if I'm, if I'm not mentioning a content creator, let me know down below. These are just the ones that I know off the top of my head that are doing like relatively like well, as well as maybe some OGs. And I, I wanted to uh, mention it simply unlucky over here uh, as well. Now he hasn't really uploaded for the past few days, uh, well, for the past like month uh, here. But one thing that I think he he does do successfully is being able to have that like Yu-Gi-Oh product and then like the big surprise face. Again, it's a very common theme with, uh, I would say, um, content creators in general. It's not just Yu-Gi-Oh. I see this all the time in let's say Fortnite or I see it with, with React channels. They'll have this sort of thing where uh, they just act surprised. And I guess like the human uh, brain wants to see what is he excited about? Let's click it, right? Um, but yeah, he's like an OG OG content creator. And this, this is not to take anything away from any OG content creator because like I would consider myself an OG content creator as well. Is sometimes if you are basically grandfathered in, like everyone just knows about you and that's how you kind of grew. Um, but this surprise face, and you know what? I also noticed there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh videos and it could just be YouTube in general. This could be just a general YouTube advice. Everything is almost always in caps. I'm not sure if that works. Um, there's a lot of these little like asterisk stars. There's also uh, one thing I noticed uh, Team Sam as well as uh, Simply Do is they put best. I don't know if that is something that people search up for because I also look at when you're searching up uh, content like just Yu-Gi-Oh in general, um, if that made a huge difference because people don't type in best what Whatever. but I think what happens on the side is pe people are looking for like a deck profile and it says like best blue eyes deck profile. I think that that does work, but I I'm not sure if it would work on like best something uh, that would be something that someone searches up for like a product. Like for example, um, if you were to look up like best, uh, like if you're looking up for a structure deck, you may see his videos as best structure deck, but I don't know if that's a keyword that people would search. Again, uh, I'm kind of just giving you guys what I would say is really cool and interesting advice, but I also think tags are very important in anything uh, related to the subject matter because that's what's going to pop up when you do search. And I mean, most of these are pretty good, I would say, for uh, most uh, content creators is to really focus in on the correct tags. But I think the most important thing is actually going to be watch time uh, than anything. Uh, speaking of uh, you know watch time, one thing that I do really like uh, with this channel over here, Team APS, they do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh skits and that's kind of what separates them, I would say, from other content creators um, as they are able to have multiple people. A lot of uh, content creators, I would say, even like, like Team Sam's usually doing things by himself, although he does feature other people, having a team of content creators all together really helps out for all of these different Yu-Gi-Oh skits. And I think that that's one thing that makes Team APS very successful and they can relate to uh, the core uh, Yu-Gi-Oh audience that goes to these different uh, tournaments and different um, events uh, that can like see like people. Cause a lot of times like what I record personally is like, I'm just recording the like the field or I'm just recording like new cards from my computer. But like when they go out there, I think that that adds a little bit of uh, familiarity with some of the people that like go to these Yu-Gi-Oh events and like, you know, record. Unfortunately, most Yu-Gi-Oh events are like no recording. Hopefully in the future in 2022, that will change. But in terms of uh, what they offer, and one thing that I think makes them very successful, I mean, they're still getting over a million views. Again, anything over a million views is what I would consider very successful 
successful as far as Yu-Gi-Oh content creation. I know with with games like Fortnite, they can hit millions on like every single video, but with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not um, the same level as popularity. Maybe one day it will, especially with Master Duels coming out, uh, which we'll be covering uh, in the future here. Um, but I, I like the idea of skits, right? And I think that one thing is that it's kind of a common theme on uh, YouTube in general is having these red arrows. I don't know if those are still super meta. Again, I think the most important thing is honestly watch time with anything because that's what TikTok really, really values. But also having uh, these sort of things where it's like three times Blue Eyes White Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Exodia, uh, Dark Magician, those all, those topics and subject matters tend to do much better on uh, TikTok. Like that, that's what I would consider more of a casual thing. Like I upload lots of things with Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Those videos tend to do a lot more well uh, on other platforms as well as like YouTube, simply because a lot of people know about them. Heck, even when I mentioned like Marshmallow, people really like that. So that's something that I've also considered as well, um, is just being able to show off something that is very relatable versus something that a lot of people may not actually know about. Um, like, cause if you're talking about the most latest meta thing, there's just gonna be a smaller niche for it. But those are some uh, strategies as well as things that I've noticed. I'm curious to know if you guys felt like I missed out on other content creators. Maybe we can make a part two if your favorite content creator wasn't featured here. Um, but these are just some of the things that I've noticed in the Yu-Gi-Oh community that I just wanna go ahead and uh, mention because I get asked all the time, Asian eyes, yo, I wanna start a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel. Do you have any tips? Well, this video is uh, basically the tips as well as some insights on some analytics. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here and you do wanna see more videos like this potentially in the future, subscribe, turn the bell and you'll definitely see more. Take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.